Okay, uh, another one from Alexandra from Sweden. Alexandra, Alexandra says, hi, again and again. I have an XLS file. That's Excel, right? Yeah. XLS, XLS file. XLS. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have an Excel, Excel file that I often use. Can I add a file to the bookmark list in Notilis? Yeah. If yes, how? Thanks yeah. for the great show. And she says, from Alexandra... Johainen. She wanted me to try and pronounce her name, Very so good. that's my best shot. I Sorry. Mean, Alexander too. <coughs> Johainen. <laughs> Johainen. Thanks Sorry. for the email. Uh, <laughs> no, unfortunately you can't. Notilis will not allow you to do that. Um, your bookmarks are actual folder references. So like these guys over here, they're the same as what you see up on your bookmarks list. Okay. So if you, if you tried, let's just say you tried, okay? So let's, let's make a folder here and we'll call this Hello. Okay, so I'm going to bookmark this folder. So now I've got hello over here. All right. So now let's create a file within hello. This is going to be your XLS spreadsheet. Test.xls. Okay. I'm going to copy the reference to that just to demonstrate how this will not work for you. Um, and I'm going to modify my bookmarks. I'm going to change that hello link to be a file reference to that file. So this is how you would do it were it possible. But now, so I've got my test.xls over on the bookmarks or also up here. If I click on that, it's going to tell me could not display home, Robbie, hello, test.xls. The location is not a folder. So I understand what you want to do would be handy. Uh, your best option is going to be to create a folder with sim links or, uh, or hard links to those actual files. So that would be, uh, for example, let's say you take that test.xls, all right? Let's grab that and put it on your desktop, but hold in your Alt key on the left-hand side of your keyboard. Then go link here. Okay. So now cut that. It's just created a, a, a hard link to that file. So now let's create a new folder called uh, Most Used. Okay. And within there, let's paste that link. All right. So now we can bookmark this folder, and we've got most used. So now every time we click on there, we'll have quick access to test.xls. That's really the only way we can get around it. But it's not perfect. It's not what you're looking for, but that's really all we can do.